going to Trenton to get more money. That's right. All right. <laughs> Let's start from there. We're not going to get any money from Trenton. Trenton just had a $9 million surplus in the transitional aid money that they refused to give us anymore. I think it was a, a Assemblyman Wembley that went down to argue the point that if this money was left over, Patterson is in such dire need, why don't you help us out with that money? They, 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 shut, they shut the front door. <coughs> $78 million was said was the deficit left over uh, or uh, inherited by this mayor from this mayor. <laughs> How did that happen? Did it happen overnight? Was it a surprise? Was it not approved by then council president when he was mayor? How did it happen? There's no explanation as to how we got there and or what happened. That really needs to be explained. Because you hear it too often, but there's no information behind it. I want to tell you that one of the people that I admired on that council over the years is sitting in the audience today. It's Councilman Rooney. He was the most fiscal responsible person there, but people wouldn't listen to him. And a lot of things that he said have come to fruition. I think we have to clamp down. We have to work hard at making sure that we're uh, very frugal <coughs> in how we spend our money. Stop, cut, cut the spending, uh, increase revenues. Yes, there is going to be some opportunity to increase revenues on code enforcement and other things that are currently not being done. But the waste has to stop, the lawsuits have to stop, and we cannot look to Trenton to give us anything. They're not giving us anything. Transitional aid is there because we cannot sustain off of what we collect. Our bills are too high, we don't collect enough money, transitional aid comes in to make the difference, but it's not uh, a birthday present. 